Hello there, welcome to Thor TV. Thor speaking yet again. Who else? And uh, this morning I'm just going to show you in brief um, how to create a, a small mod which will put one piece of armor into the game that was previously uncraftable. So I have the creation kit open. I have, if I click that, you can see I've got the Elder Scrolls Master File, that is ESM files are all open. That one is a mod. Um, so I've done that. So I'll cancel so they don't open again. I've done that because it takes a while, a minute or two, to, just to open the files. And uh, you don't need to see that. Installation of the creation kit, setting it up, getting everything working nicely. Now, that particular thing is, uh, I'm going to give you a link to Dark Fox uh, 127 his YouTube channel down below because I think he's better at explaining that particular thing than me and probably this too. He does have videos on how to add uh, some armor to the game. So you might want to look at that as well. Uh, the reason for showing you this is, um, as it says in the title, is to show you something of complete smithing. Now this is not a mod yet. It only has the, the original data files loaded in. So I'm just gonna take you through and show you how I created the first piece of armor, shall we say. Now, uh, you can see in the object window, you can ignore the render window, You can, and this these are to do with, if you are looking at exterior, like rooms or uh, the gate, outside white run, that sort of thing, you see it in the render win you, window when you're changing it, and this is the list of those things down here in the corner. This is interiors, so this is the rooms of the game. Right. Anyway, ignore all that. In fact, I'll, I'll do this. Ignore them. So, uh, we are looking for armor. Armor is in items. And there it is, armor. Now, if I click there, you can see there's quite a lot of armor. <laughs> um, and there's another thing called constructible object. And this is recipes. Uh, if I go down to right here, you can see you've got a recipe for various things to craft those things. A bit further down, temper, temper, armor, and so on. That is temper being the uh, improve thing. I think it says in the main game, does it? So you can get a recipe for a dwarven bow look, a, a daedric warhammer, not sure, le a leather wolf hide look. So that will, you put in a wolf pelt, and it creates leather, one of them. Yeah. I'm gonna click on cancel. You have to be very careful when you're modding that you don't edit one of the original game things. And I will explain that in a moment. Another thing that can happen, you can see how many of the things there are in here. And what you need to be able to do is find whatever it is you, you're trying to make, uh, which can be a bit difficult. I mean, especially, I mean, look, look at it all. So. Um, I always, well, normally I, I would put the, the name, I would put Thord into the name of what I'm making and I can just do a, a search for things containing the word Thord and get more or less everything I've, I've done. So that makes my life easier. I'm not going to use Thord on this occasion. So, but uh, let's see. And I was just thinking, what, what to make? What to make? Well, I suppose I'm going to make the uh, Nightingale armor because that seems to be so popular. So I just started, started to type the word Nightingale in the filter. I got that far and it seems to be okay. Now you can see the cuirass is the body armor. So we'll make one of those. I'll open that. Now this one, look, does not have a tick where it says playable. Playable means you can wear it. So I don't know what this is, but we're not gonna make that one. I'll look at this one. Now there are three, it's for I think it's when you are given the armor, you get what it's like depends upon your level. So this has got armor 34 and it's number one. I go all the way up to number three and it's still, it's still 34. I don't know why they've got more. It looks the same to me, but there we are. Anyway, so I'm gonna use one of these. Now, if I if I wanted to, if I, if I set this one to craft it, let's say I want, I want to make this one, Nightingale armor. If I use the one from the game and change it, that's gonna change every Nightingale suit of armor that's in the game. 
It can conflict with other mods because maybe there's another mod which places the Nightingale armor, the, the one from the game, in a box somewhere that you can find it, and so on. So I know. So the thing is not to use the things from the game, but to make a copy and craft that. So I'm going to right-click, duplicate. Now you can see here. There we go. Duplicate two. So I'm going to remove the word duplicate two and. Normally I'll put something like Thord on the end, but I'm going to put um, one, two, three, four, five there, five Bs. And then that will, and then if I just, okay, and do I want to create a new one? No, I don't want a new one. I'm just changing the name of this one. No, am I sure? Yes, there we are. So now you can see I've got something with B, 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 B. So if I want to search for it, I'll do it here, B, B, B. So I'll go down to the bottom, look. And I'm, I'm doing all. Now there's more than one thing which has got three B. So just keep typing. There we go. There. So now it's easy for me to find what I'm working on. I'm not working on the original, so I'm not going to break anything. I'll go back here to armor, I think, for now. Right. So in, in the Nightingale armor, and I'll put, I'll call it a different thing. That's what you see when you look at it in your inventory or on the, you put your thing over it on the floor or something like that. It will, you'll see it in a box and it says Nightingale Armor. My, this is a copy, it will say Nightingale Armor BBB. Let's say I want loads of money, so we'll put loads of money for the value. I want a really, I want a super, super duper to armor rating is all those fives. Now this going over to the right hand side, oh my mouse might not be pointing at the thing. So I'm, I, look at what I'm highlighting is the thing. Don't worry about where my mouse is pointing. So if I do that and then come back, it sometimes it fixes. Anyway, okay, look, vendor no sell. So you can't sell this one. Well, I won't be able to sell it. Look, I've set a big high value. So we'll remove that. You cannot disenchant it. Remove that. So you can see right away, I'm making changes. If I make changes to the in-game item, I've already broken it, if you see what I mean. <laughs> okay, now it's it's enchanted. Look, and the enchantment is the uh, the ID. The uh, you can see now this this thing has an ID. I'm a Nightingale Kuras player. B B B B B B. This thing is a, is an ID as well. And the ID for the enchantment from the Nightingale, which is specific, and the, and the chest, the Kuras, and you can see there are more. Um, well, that's uh, all different. So. If I remove none, there is now an unenchanted caress. So you can enchant it as you like. Uh, I can change all sorts of things. The weight, light or heavy armor. If it's not armor, I can set it to clothes. Uh, if it's clothes, I could set that to none. Um, things like that. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, where this is, what is it? So it's a body. Um, everything has a slot, it's got a slot. So head slot, hair slot, and so on. And there are some just not listed, but they do exist. Okay, anyway, important thing um, is it's all done. Okay, it's playable. I checked that before without telling you. So here is a tick. Uh, I'll just click okay. Yeah, I've made some changes to it, but I haven't changed the original. Now, I want to be able to make this thing, right? So we'll go down to a constructible object. And I'm going to type leather. Now, the reason I've done, I, I've chosen leather is I know leather is one of those things you can make from the beginning of the game. And I want to be able to make this from the beginning of the game. If I open this, you can see the ID is recipe armor leather cuirass. Cuirass is body armor. So I'm going to use that one. No real reason, but I am. So I just right click, I'm going to duplicate, there's my recipe. This is the one I'm working on. Now, it's not called that, it is recipe and it is armor, but it's not the leather cuirass. It's, it's uh, I'll call it my nightingale cuirass, here we go, cuirass, cuirass. Um, and remember, put, give it, what was it, five Bs, and it makes it easier to find later. and. I don't think any other modder is going to have uh, an idea of recipe armor, my nightingale cuirass with five Bs after it. So it avoids conflicts. Now, as I'm looking down here, oh, look, there it is. You see, armor nightingale cuirass player, B, 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 B. And that's what I want to create from this menu. 
it uses leather strips and leather. I'm going to make it nice and easy. So I'll, I'll highlight leather one, delete that. Leather strips is left behind. I'm going to down here where it says count, I'm going to put one leather strip. So that's how much it will take to make. Now, um, it's a workbench keyword is crafting smithing forge. I can choose to make it at the forge, the tanning rack. Uh, I think you, you can't use all of these, I think. I can make it a sky forge. Look, the sky forge, I could use it. So you have to go to the sky forge to make it. But I could make it, you could cook it if you like, use the cooking pot. But I'm going to use crafting smithing forge as, it, as the, the normal sort of thing, isn't it? And it's just one leather strip. Perfect. I'll click OK. This is a duplicate I created, so I don't want to create a new one. I'm just renaming it. Yes. So that's done the recipe. Now you can see down the bottom of this list on the left, there are four things there. Temper. I'll open the cuirass one. So actually, I'm, make, I'm making duplicates, aren't I? And I'll explain what you can see in there. Now, if, if I open it again, right. Oh, I need to change the name, don't I? Now, what did it call it? My Nightingale Curacuras. And it's uh, five Bs. One, two, three, four, five. Capitals, because it's easy to see, that's all. I'm going to create object again, and it's just like the recipe. Uh, Armour Nightingale Curas player B B B B B B B. This is for the upgrade. It's going to use a piece of leather. No, I don't want that. Let's use um um. I mean, I, I, I could if I want to make it difficult, I could put void salts. Um, I could make it use a bandit outfit, a note. Um, I I could make it use uh one. Uh, one piece of gold ore. Um, I could use an orcish arrow. So you have to put one orcish arrow into the uh, into the uh, your inventory and use that to make a to upgrade the nightingale cuirass and so on. So you should do whatever you like. But uh, it did say leather, I mean, leather, and I would just want le one leather strip. I don't want to have any problems when I test this. So. So it'll be nice and easy for testing. And uh, done that, done that, done that, done that. So I started to waffle a bit. And look, we've all recreated it. So, okay. Am I creating a new one? No, I'm not. So I don't want to create a new one. I'll just click on no. Am I sure? Yes, I am sure. There it is. So you've got the temper recipe. No. B, 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 B. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll just all. And there, we've got a cuirass. We've got a recipe to create it. And I'm going to test this. Check it. There it is. B, 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 B. So that'll make that one, this will upgrade that one and create another one with better stats. And I go in here and save it now. And this is the data folder of Skyrim Special Edition. And I'm gonna begin with one, two, three, four, five. There we are, we've got these again. And a arm, armor, armor stuff, there we go. So I'm just gonna save that anyway. And I'm gonna go in now and I'm going to open Skyrim. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go click on mods. Because remember, I'm on the PC, so this is going to look different. Now, if I go down to the bottom is where it will be. There it is. 5Bs, armor stuff. And look at it. I'm even spelling it in the American way already. Reload the data files because I've, en I've enabled a mod. And I'll just go in with this guy. Right run the band of mayor. That's a good choice. So he's in there. The um, that's my own sort of complete smithing. Smithing. <clears throat> so I'm going to I've uh, disabled that, taking it out of the game. So my character is upset. His arm is gone because that's part of that mod. Uh, if you remember the ID where I put the five Bs in, um, the the complete smithing has a unique IDs as well. So hence the um, the uh, the disappearance there. The game can no longer find the item with that ID in it because it was in my mod and so on. Now we need going to need uh, a leather strip. So actually two. So I'm going to want to upgrade it. So leather strips. Let's take a couple of those. Or four. All right. Whatever. Now we'll go over here. Craft. Now if you remember, I chose the uh, what section was it in? 
miscellaneous. Ah, there it is, miscellaneous, okay. Nightingale armor, and there it is, the five Bs, as I did it. Very high value, armor value, 1,470. Needs a leather strip, create. So do that, quit smithing. Into the inventory, apparel. There it is, look, Nightingale armor, five Bs. There he is, let's run into the sunlight. There he is wearing it. So, uh, so we've made it. And if I run over here, I'm going to craft. I can click on it to temper it. And you can see it goes up just a little bit. That's, don't know why, but it just does. So I, I don't know, it's a perk on it or something. And he's not uh, my highest level character. So I don't know where his smithing is. Anyway, there you go. That's uh his eyes look a bit odd. Oh, well. So there we are. He's using his upgraded thing. And if I go, oops, let me go back in here. And he's still uh, apparel. And you can see it's still called B, 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 B. Because that's what we called it. And it's still got the high value. A bit more armor. So we had to, all we had to do to get this in the game. Because it was already marked as playable. We had to just make a recipe for it. It was already a temper thing. I created a te separate temper thing. Because the output of the... Temper recipe had to be the QQ, the BBBBB set of armor. Now I'm going to quit the game here and come back in a moment and show you the complete smithing and the sort of things I've done in there. I'm not going to mess about too much, so it won't take very long. See you in a minute. Good, so here we are back in, um, we're looking at the Ford Smith or plugin. And remember, ignore where my mouse is and concentrate on what is highlighted because for some reason when I'm recording, it always seems to go in the wrong place. Okay, so uh, we were looking at items before. I'm going to look at the same sort of things. Click on armor, there's all stuff. And the naming conventions, I use EX for, for this stuff. Ignore the duplicate ones. So this is um, the armor. This is going to be, I've got tons of stuff to add. Maybe double, I don't know yet. Anyway, so all this stuff ending in X because looking again at the Nightingale cuirass, there it is. Um, this is the same thing we've just been looking at. And I've removed the enchantment. The enchantment is normally here. Um, so I've removed that. I've removed the, over on the right, the keyword. There's a keyword which stops you from um, enchanting uh, disenchanting items so I've removed that because it's not enchanted and so on so that's how I've made it not enchanted so it doesn't conflict with the uh, enchanted suit of armor that's why it's got the EX on the end of it but it's got the same name same value same armor value and so same weight it's light armor and so on so everything's the same to you uh, when you look at it but you've crafted it now uh, I'm going to sh I'll show you the recipe very quickly, or as quickly as I can. <laughs> um, constructible object. So what I'll do this time, I'll just type in Nightingale, okay? Because what you're actually going to see, look, is uh, it's that one. This is, well, no, that's the tempo. Let's get the normal recipe up. There we go. Normal is that one. So for these, look, you can see I put the name Thord on the end of the recipe that helps me to remember which one I'm actually looking at. So uh, for the recipe, um, you're gonna need, I, I just made this up, so I just put some items in there and it's got a condition on it, which is to use th the Thord faction smithing perk. Um, some things also include other things like uh, um, must quest must be completed and, and so on. And that all goes down in the conditions. So when you see something that says, you must have completed this quest and you have that perk, this is the thing. This is where it's done. Or I can say the smithing skill must be greater than 97. <laughs> Silly little things like that. I can do, <coughs> I can do what I like. Right. Um, so that's the, the recipe for it. Um, now we've got the temper thing. Uh, what was it? Nightingale Grass Thord is there, and you, you can see up here. Look, it's still creating the EX version, which we know is not enchanted, but will be up, upgraded um, and so on. It need. I decided nice quicksilver ingot. I don't want it to be too easy, but.
But if you look at the the thing that the game gives you, it asks for void salts, and I thought that's a bit extreme. So I decided that instead it would be a quick silver ingot, which would be more appropriate. Got down here, got the there's the blade. Um, so that would be the the sword, and so on. So we've got rest two recipes for everything. Uh, the so I'm just this is kind of a guided tour if you like. So if I type the word plus, this is the orsinic recipes. So if I look at this, let's look at the companions. Uh, this one you can see, cuirass. Now I'll go over here. So if I type ex and get up the other companions cuirass. Uh, companions, there it is. There we go. So we've got the plus and we've got the 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 one. The, uh, the normal one that you might make. Now the normal one, look, has an art on the left, has an armor rating of 31, and the one right has an armor rating of 44. And that is the Orsinic wolf armor on the right, and on the left, wolf armor. So what you're actually gonna get on the left is an, the, uh, the default wolf armor. Um, not enchanted in any way, craftable. Um, and on the right, the Orsinic Wolf Armour with a much higher armour rating value. So now there's a recipe and a temper recipe for the Orsinic Wolf Armour. There's the perk. And actually if I look at, so let's have a look, uh, go back to constructible object, I'll type it plus, and we'll go to <laughs> companions. Oh, well, I haven't done the recipe for that one yet, so it's not actually in there, but um, I've got, as you can see, I've got it ready to add. So I've got one, it doesn't matter which one I pick, anything that's, that's got a plus on the end uh, needs the perk Thord or Thinium or Sinium Smithing. So that's one of the new perks that you have to pick. And this is what you need to make it. I've just added a dragon bone because it's all cynic. And you get the, the I mean, it's the same with the boots of the, of the, of the Draugr boots. It's the ancient Nord armor, in fact. Um, then well you can see it, it, it needs this stuff but the stats are a lot better so that's all cynic i got perks make perks i've put them in a perk tree um tons more stuff to make which i'm doing all the time so thanks very much for having a look i hope i put the most interesting stuff at the beginning uh so if you're still watching well done <laughs> And I'll see you in a Let's Play, which I hope I can record later today because I haven't done one for ages. Bye.